First of all, I'd like to greet our distinguished guests, administrators, Professor Larry Digal, Chancellor, Professor Nilo P. Oponda, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Professor Karen Joyce Cayamanda, Vice Chancellor for Administration, Professor Raimundo Pavo, Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Dominica De Serra, Dean of the College of Science and Mathematics, Professor Aurelia Lizluminda Gomez, Dean of the School of Management, faculty, staff, guests, parents, and most especially my fellow graduates, welcome. Congratulations to all of us. We finally made it to this day. With so much that has happened in the span of a year and a half, it feels bizarre to be here today facing the screen instead of a crowd of beige, maroon, and green. Until a year ago, I had always imagined a very different scenario for this day. But before that, I have a small favor to ask from you. I'd like us to close your eyes just for a few minutes and imagine it is the evening before our very much awaited graduation day. Hashtag Sablai 2021. You waited for this day for years. You spent sleepless nights, shed lots of tears, read and tried to absorb information from hundreds, even thousands of pages of readings, spent money for plates, theses, and coffee shop, sacrificed your health or sleep, your social life, or your acads at some point because you can almost never have all the three at once. You only got a few hours left to sleep because you have to wake up at 3 in the morning and everyone has to get ready before sunrise. You set your alarm and close your eyes. And because of the lack of sleep, you were able to doze off right away. The sound of your alarm wakes you up. It's still dark, but everyone is already busy. You start to get ready as well. After preparing, you wear your beige-colored Filipiniana or barong, while your mom or sister attends to your hair and glams up your face so you would look extra beautiful or handsome for this once-in-a-lifetime moment. It's a little past 5 o'clock and everyone is ready to head to Mintal. You arrive at the campus. There are people busy selling flowers. And you see your classmate arriving at the same time as you. You walk together with your parents and family to the AVR where other graduates and their parents are also gathering. It's still dusk and the indigo sky is turning scarlet. And a little while later, Obla is facing a beautiful, flaming red-orange sunrise. The AVR is slowly packing up with your blackmates and batchmates arriving with their parents. As the sun has risen and daylight broke, you start lining up for the procession. The ceremony starts, and beside you are your parents, and you finally take your turn walking from the atrium steps on the center aisle towards the stage, and it read, 23rd, Commencement exercises. You may open your eyes. So that was how I imagined this very day would be like. Before that random Thursday in March of 2020, that I never would have thought would be our last day as undergraduate students in the campus. Seriously, none of us knew. If we would have known, that Thursday could have been very emotional and each of us would have made it memorable in our own way. I remember a famous quote by C.S. Lewis, Day by day, nothing changes. But isn't it funny, when you look back, everything is different? Nothing is permanent, and this is both frightening and comforting. To know that nothing is everlasting, our problems, failures, sadness, heartbreaks, at the same time, our happiness, excitement, achievements, and even the people around us. And to recognize this reminds us to not take the good times and the good people for granted. 
and not to give up on the bad days because sooner or later, everything will be okay. I only started to realize this during college, but when I started working, it made even more sense. We cannot be in an eternal state of peace of mind and happiness. It is not a question that problems will come. We lose, we fail, but we also succeed. Some days we feel good and fresh, like we can take on the world, and some days we are just at rock bottom, and we feel like nothing is turning out well, and that's okay. Certainly, we will face adversities, and as we grow older, they will only be bigger, harsher, but we also grow more resilient, more loving, and more courageous. Hence, the desire shouldn't be to have a good day every single day, but instead to be blessed with the strength, faith, and gratitude to face and get through the day, whether it will be great or terrible. I remember during stressful days, what had kept me going was the support of my friends and family. To be honest, I believe that the best thing that happened to me in UP was being blessed with good people and the gift of friendship. I lost my father during college and the pain was devastating. But in my loss, I was blessed with generous people who supported me and my family. I realized I wasn't alone. I met friends who have made my world so much bigger and colorful and I am grateful to have them because they made me realize that we are not supposed to carry everything on our own. Sometimes, the best solution is to share it with others. And also, in return, take some of others' burdens as our own. Looking back, I may no longer remember the grades, the quizzes, the exams, but I will surely remember, for a long time, the rare and momentous experiences, the irreplaceable people, and the lifelong learning. Lastly, as we leave the comfortable confines of our classroom and attempt to survive the real world, I hope that we continue with passion and compassion in whatever we do. I hope that we do not sacrifice honor and excellence for materialistic and temporary success. As newcomers, we can have very high ambitions for the future. And some of us might feel the pressure that we need to change or at least impact the world. But I hope that we do not get discouraged in our journey. We may not be able to influence the world through a thousand following or a thousand views, but we can certainly be an inspiration to maybe even just one person. And that would mean the world to them. To the batch of 2021, Though this may not be the traditional ending that we have imagined for our university life, I hope we do not remember only the destination, but more importantly, the journey. We have so much potential to change the world, and I can't wait to see every one of us grow and thrive into the persons we are meant to be. And I hope every step along the way, we remember to pause and express our gratitude for every single moment of success and joy. Congratulations and padayan!